Yo, what's going on YouTube? Today I'm going to do a vlog on my CBT experience and uh, basically like what happens when you go to, to the motorcycle training spot and things you can do to like prepare for it. So when I done my CBT, I done it uh, about a year and a half ago now. So when I done it, uh, I was I was I'd never driven before. I'd never been like on a motorbike before. So it's kind of like oh shit when you go there because you know it's it's like if someone said to you oh we're gonna drive in one day at the end of the day you'll be able to do it but I'm gonna tell you why it's not really like that and how I done it so I done my CBT in well I first done it in, a, in Wembley well I didn't do it that I was training to do it but I never passed it there because those people um, they weren't really they weren't that good at they, they weren't good at teaching, let's put it that way. So, yeah, I had to, um, I changed my spot from Wembley and then, because basically when I was there, what they'd done was they basically said get on the bike and just learn how to ride, which wasn't really useful, so I changed it up anyways. So, the first time I'd done it there, I didn't get it, but then I'd done it at another place, and again, I didn't get it, but these people were a lot better. So I didn't get it there uh, in my second place, but to be fair, I done it. I started on a gear, which was probably my mistake actually, because if you don't know, you can do it on an automatic. You can do it on an automatic. So I done mine on an automatic, um, but it depends. Though. Um, if you're gonna start, the best option obviously is to do it on a gear. Because at the end of the day, if you're going to ride a geared bike, get a geared. But if you're just going to do automatic, then all you need is automatic, right? But I done mine on automatic and I have, ever since then, I've been fine. Although, learning how to ride a geared bike, it's kind of been trouble. Uh, there's a bit of trouble at the beginning though. I kind of, uh, I've stalled it obviously a lot, like when I was starting off. And then I have uh, dropped it, but not like not crash or anything just like dropped at low speeds like practicing new turns and stuff but that was in my own time so i done mine on automatic uh, at the training center and it's uh, because i hadn't done any driving lessons or anything i was basically i wasn't very good on the road so i was a bit of a noob so when i went there they were like do you know how to fucking go on the road mate i was like uh, not really so if you're gonna go there um read up on the highway code which will be useful and also like driving videos beforehand but this is for like on the road because when you start off they start you off doing uh, in a little room basically they're going to talk about safety and stuff and like motorcycle gear like helmets uh what you should wear why you should wear it how it protects you when to change not when to change stuff then after that that's probably about an hour after that then they get you onto their little uh, area where they do it so like mine was in the playground it was it was literally a playground somewhere i can't even remember but it was uh like in a school i think i was like what the hell are we going to school but yeah they do you they put you in a little training ground and once they're there they're basically before you get on the bike they're going to talk about the talk talking about the bike like what it does um how to put fuel in uh how to check oil well they should but i don't think mine done that and basic the basic stuff like horn lights what they do uh, and then obviously it's explaining that the front brake has more braking power than the rear brake and when to use the front and when to use the back then then you get on the bike so i don't i don't on the scooter i mean like i didn't pass the first time even though i had done it on a scooter um, so yeah I mean people think it's easy and that you can get it done in one day but to be fair like I had a mate who done it his CBT and he was like oh how the fuck did you fail that I was like it's not as easy as you think I mean if you've never look if you've never driven a car it's gonna be don't expect to get it the first time maybe the second or third time but all it is is a safety course like people say you can't fail or you can't 
Well, you can't fail it, basically, but I mean, you can just come back and like the next day or something. And yeah, I mean, obviously it's for your own safety that you know how to do it, but just don't expect to get it the first time if you if you don't know how, like, how the road works and shit, because obviously they're not gonna pass you. Yeah, so when I was doing my CBT, it's a bit funny, but what I had done, I was on the scooter and I had basically rammed it into a tree because I was stopped. The guy told me to brake, yeah, well he didn't tell me to brake, like you do like slaloms and stuff like that and then once you've done the slaloms, uh, they do another few stuff like maybe practice U-turns uh, and slow, ski slow skill maneuverability maneuvers uh, and then once you've done that like uh, so basically pretend I'd done some of that he was telling me they wanted to stop because they were doing a chat about something so I stopped and after the guy had finished talking what I had done was because the scooter it doesn't have a clutch or anything so by accident my hand was just on the throttle and it went like it went like that it was just the throttle I just turned it a little bit and it just once it turns a little bit your hand just keeps on going and going so it went into a tree and then the guy had to pick it up and yeah I felt like a bit of a dick but I mean it's not a big deal it's only your it's your CBT so if you're gonna make, make a mistake don't really worry about it and now once your CBT is done they just give you a certificate and then that's it for two years like mine's about to run out soon so I'm probably gonna have to get another CBT but obviously I want to do my A2 license but I'm gonna save that towards the end of the year when I have more time because right now I'm really busy but yeah I should check this guy doesn't fucking pull out of me good so once you get your CBT done you can get a 125cc so you can get something like uh, anything with which has 125 in it basically so Sinus Patrick 125, Yamaha YBR 125, Honda CBR 125, Honda CBF 125 and uh, there's a lot of bikes, 125s, they're really good on fuel economy and stuff but you have to have the L plates on the front and the back um, I mean they don't really check it as such, I mean like, I went past loads of police uh, I just, I don't have it on the front so yeah now the 125s you see I don't know if it makes you feel any like less of a road user having the L plate but I thought at the beginning but to be fair you get kind of used to it so don't worry about having your L plate on man it's nothing Another thing about the CBT is when you do it you want to make sure you've looked at some videos beforehand on how to ride a motorcycle so just go in on YouTube and type in how to ride a motorbike I mean it's better for you at the end of the day because it's a business at the end of the day so if they if they have an excuse to keep you back another day they'll do it I know some are more <coughs> some are more uh, money motivated than others I mean you can tell and if it's like that just change your centre man because there's a few like that's what I'm saying the place I've done it in Wembley was just shit so if you want to find a good place uh, if they felt you on a legitimate reason I mean fair enough but I mean just make sure you have the best thing before you go there like you know pretty much everything before you go there so it's just you get practice with the bike they're not like telling you anything new, you just they're just giving you tips and tricks on how to improve really. Oh yeah, and another thing to note about the CBT actually is that when you if you do it on an automatic, so like a 50cc or whatever, or however many cc's it is. However many cc's it is you can still ride on a geared bike that's what i done i mean it depends uh, if you want to do it like that like i did you can do that because you'll still you'll still 
you're still licensed to be able to go in a geared 125 but, but I wouldn't really recommend it I mean it's if you want to do it though, I mean I've done it I'm just saying I'm an example of someone who shit on the road and has done that so yeah take take from this video what you will man anyways that's it I'll catch you guys in the next video peace